Today, we are going to show you how to find the most profitable stocks using the FinViz screener. FinViz is an amazingly powerful free screener that can help you find winning trades. And by the end of today's video, you'll have it mastered. In today's video, we're going to cover 11 criteria for finding the most profitable stocks, two extra settings to really dial in your search, how to use FinViz to find trending stocks, number four, the importance of volume, and number five, one stock on this search that just made me a 196% ROI. Let's go over our FinViz screener criteria. Number one, we want to have a market cap that's greater than $2 billion. By having a large market cap, this will help us find more established companies that have been around for some time and are well established. Number two, we want a net profit margin greater than 15%. And you can play with this number and move it up or down based on what you like. Number three, we want the performance to be year up. Right now, we're currently in a bear market, so we don't want to be buying any dogs. And this is one way that we can help ensure that these stocks are at least moving up this year. And number four, we want a forward PE that is profitable. And by profit, we want it to be greater than zero. You could also set it to where it's between zero and 25. That's another really good setting. Number five, we want a return on equity greater than 20%. Now the S&P 500 average is typically about 18.6% and the return on equity is how much net income is generated per dollar of invested capital. So 20% or greater than 20% is a good number to use. Number six, analyst recommendations of buy or better. Number seven, we want a price that is greater than the 200 day simple moving average. Number eight, we want average volume more than 500,000. And this is a really important one. Number nine, we want EPS growth this year that's greater than 5%. And number 10, we want option or short is optionable. Now this is an optionable, pun intended, uh, setting for you just depending on how you're trading. If you're not trading options, you don't need this setting. But if you are trading options, this one is critical. Number 11, we want the country to be set to USA. And our goal is to get about 30 to 50 stocks on our search. And we can play with the criteria to get the number of stocks we want. And one thing that I want to cover real quickly is that volume is key. And this is kind of like stock market 101. High volume signals institutions are involved and high volume also increases liquidity. And this is critical for option traders. And then number three, if we've got a 150% or higher than average daily volume, that's a huge plus. Again, this is not a requirement. As long as we've got over 500,000 shares trading daily, that's what we're looking for. But be on the lookout because if we've got 150% or more than the average daily volume, that's confirmation of a movement and that's definitely something we always want to look for. And let's go over two bonus settings to really dial it in. Number 12 is going to be the EPS growth next year is positive. And number 13 is going to be our price is less than $50. And this is great for smaller accounts or options. And today's criteria really stacks the odds in your favor with profitable stocks that are trending up, are recommended by analysts, and have forecasted revenue increases. If you go to finviz.com and you click on screener, this is the screen that you come to. And at the top, we've got four different tabs. We've got the descriptive tab, and then we can see all of our different criteria. I've already put in the 11 that we have. We've got fundamental, technical, and then I like the all setting. And this just simply shows us everything all at once. And right now you can see we've got 33 stocks that are coming up. A really cool thing about Finviz is if you wanna take a quick look at the stock, all you have to do is hover over it and boom, it'll pop up a graph for you. And let's go over our two bonus settings. If we wanted to screen this down even further, right now we've got total of 33. All we would do is come over here to EPS growth next year, and we could simply put it on positive, And that's gonna bring us down to 21. And then if you wanted to have low lower price stocks, which can be very handy if you've got a limited budget or if you want to do option plays, then you simply come over here to price and we will put under $50 and boom, we've popped this list down to just eight stocks that meet our criteria. And on the overview tab, I like to sort it by the volume so we can see our highest volume stocks first. And right now we can see Oxy is our top one. Next up, let's take a look at the performance tab. This is another tab that I really like. And the reason why is we can see how the stock has been performing over the week, month, quarter, half of the year, and over the entire year or the performance year to date. So here we can see Oxy 133.8% year to date, phenomenal. Uh, BTU 163%. The main thing we're looking for is we would like to see as much green here as possible. 
The next tab that can be really useful is going to be the charts tab. And what I like about this is we can do a quick overview of how the stocks are performing. And we can also choose between the candle. We can do a line chart, uh, which is very nice. And then if you want a technical chart, click on that. And then we've also got the technicals. So that can be very helpful. Uh, here we can see Oxy. We've got a nice channel developing right here showing support and resistance. Some really good stuff. And if you're looking to buy a stock or sell one, it's always a good idea to check the news and see if there's any big headlines that have came out on the stock. That's what the news tab is for. So if we're looking at Oxy here, we've got our chart and right below it, we've got all of our different news, quite helpful. And then my second favorite tab is going to be the snapshot. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It simply gives us a quick snapshot of the company. So here we've got Oxy. We've got the chart, how they're doing. We've got some basic stock information and financials. We can see the PE forward PE peg ratio. And then we can come down. We get a description of what they're doing. All of our news right here, uh, 10 oil stocks to buy that are too cheap to ignore. And then we also have insider trading, quite useful. And we can tell that Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway, they have been continuous buying Oxy all year. And here's their most recent transactions, regular and consistent buying. So that's a very, very useful tab. And I really hope that you enjoyed this on how to use Finviz. And that's how easy it is to use the Finviz screener. Now that you know how to use the screener, let's go over the stock on this screener that made me a 196% annualized ROI last week. That stock is Devon Energy and I'm currently running the wheel strategy on it where I've been selling puts that we hope will expire worthless. This is a great strategy to use with this screener because we are finding bullish stocks that we expect will increase in value. For example, Devon Energy is currently trading at $70 a share and if we sell the 60 $67 put and the stock stays above $67, then we keep that entire put premium. Here's the trade alert that I sent out on Devon Energy. This is what's called a cash secured put and you might want to pause the screen to read the trade alert and the update because there's a lot of great information in my alerts that really explains the process and shows just how fast these types of options can be very profitable. And now let's go over how this trade played out and then what we did. Devon October puts are now up 96% and should expire today for a 100% profit. We have a few choices. Number one, do nothing and it should expire Friday with a 100% profit, which works out to a 196% annualized profit for the two days that we held the position. If that was your first option, congratulations. And then number two, close the position. You'll have to buy back the put and right now that cost is about $4 per contract. This will free up the $6,600 cash needed to secure the put. Number three, we could roll the position to the next call. Based on Thursday's close, that would be the $69 strike for $1.14 or maybe a little bit higher. Number four, we can let the put expire for 100% profits and sell a put on Monday. In looking at the chart, we can see that Devon Energy is well over the 20 EMA, and this is what I call too much too fast. I always expect stocks to return to the 20 EMA, which right now is 67.45. This is why I only do the wheel and sell puts on stocks that I want to own. Always check the charts to know where your support and resistance are located. Yesterday was a crazy day, and I will see how today goes before making a decision. Most of the time, I like to roll, which is option three, high profit positions out to the next week, which lets me capture more theta decay. The stock markets were off to the races on Friday, and I went with option four, where I just let the put expire for a 100% profit. And then yesterday, I sold the $68 put for 72 cents per share, which will work out to a 128.8% annualized return held for three days if Devon Energy stays above $68. I covered this entire trade and walked you through how to do it in yesterday's video if you want to check it out because there's still time to do the same trade if you're interested. So today I've shown you how to use the Finviz screener to find bullish stocks and how you can turn those stocks into some significant profits by either buying these stocks or using options and running the wheel strategy. If you want more real-time information on my option plays and what stocks I'm buying and selling and when I'm buying and selling, then make sure you join my Discord. You'll get exclusive content including my daily hot stock list to help you build your wealth and this includes our bearish and bullish hot stocks and how to play them even if you're a beginner. So if you'd like to receive all of my trade alerts, indicators, and free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble, then check out the links below. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.